Hi everybody. Um, I'm going to let you see my Livingston video. Um, I'd actually shelved it because it was nearly... I went to Livingston today and explore um, and I didn't really find very much of any period features of anything. Um, and I wasn't going to upload it because I thought it was just a waste of time but I'll put it up anyway and let you have a look. Um, as I keep saying, I, I don't want to stick to Dundee, Glasgow, Cumbernauld. I want to go to other parts of the country as well, you know. Um, and I'm planning to go to Edinburgh soon, so. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. It's not a very exciting vlog, but nevertheless. <laughs> right, enjoy yourself. Anything that's 1960s, 1970s, anything that's like Cumberland in the sense of 
But it wasn't. Couldn't see it so far. I'll keep going on. It's not quite the same as Cumberland Road as in kind of a waffle development. It's just a. It's kind of hard to date this place really because it's kind of modern but not new town modern. It's not post post war modern, it's more the 60s brutalist period. So, it's just like a dolphin area. Oh, this is the one of the loading areas for the mall. <clears throat> yeah, this looks like a this looks like a service loading area. I don't think there's much to see here. in one of the floors. Or stairs even. Don't even know where this goes. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. more to it but it's not. The problem with Livingston is that it's been done up so much, it's been modernised, renovated over the years, so it's kind of hard to see what it was like in the 60s and 70s. Oh, 
that off because just have what left. Places are forbidden now, would it? <laughs> We've got to go to places that are forbidden. Basement. Like the basement, yes, exactly. <sighs> yeah, let's go and explore something else now. I think we've seen enough of this here. There's no more much to see here. That's not all. So far in my video, um, I've not found very much yet. Um, I'm going to keep scouting the area and have a look. I'm not very aware of what's really in this town. Um, I'm going to be in Glasgow myself, so it's kind of... Um, I come on all days and ride them very well. Livingston, I don't know so well. But it's an adventure anyway, so that's what really matters. Um, as I say, apologies for my last video with the camera shaking. So I was, I've managed to fix that problem now, so there shouldn't be any more problems with that. Um, anyway, I'll cut to a bit when we get to something exciting, okay? <laughs> Hopefully it'll be soon. Still in the hunt for the, the new town where it was 60s. I'm not finding it so far. For some reason, Livingston seems to care for the customer as well as the cat because uh, the amount of shops that are in this area is unbelievable. I mean, compared to other new towns I've been in, um, I mean, the, the last vlog in Cumber Nord, it was really obvious that the centre wasn't in a good way. Whereas, if you look at over there, over there, sorry. Um, it's all prime development, it's all in use, you know, there's nothing lying derelict or empty and nothing. It's like Livingston's a, a new town that's had a chance to thrive, which is good, you know. But at the same time, if it starts to lose its sex and coolness, then maybe not so. I mean, I'm sure for everyone out there, it's a wonderful shopping centre. 
but for me it's not about the shop centre, it's about the time. Maybe should be called my channel Brutalist Buildings and Country Walks with Tanya. <laughs> find stuff that's all its period. I mean I know the Craigsand State was a 60s part of uh, Livingston. from the main town city from there. See what's over the other side. That chimney stack looks a bit like the one at Nine Mills in Dundee. The hospital chimney in the distance. appeared in my channel, there you go. <laughs> yeah, well anyway, so, like I was saying, this is more like a country walk adventure than a bootlist adventure, I'm really sorry about this. I'm trying to find things of interest to the channel, but um, it seems to be like a long country walk instead. <laughs> that means. It's a night and day from Common World, isn't it? It's, um, I mean, I do love Common World. I do, but as far as the town is prospect, this is definitely it. You can see the difference here between here and Common World on a massive scale. There's definitely a lot of investment in the world. 
which is good. Go on. That that building on the left there. It's hard to tell. It looks like an original temple. The one next to the McDonald's sign. Old or not, it's, it kind of looks 60s, doesn't it? It looks that kind of period of the town. I think it actually might be. I think that might be the original building there. After a lot of walking, I've not found anything at all of Livingston that resembles Brutalist. If it was here, it's not anymore. Or it's been covered over with something else because it's, it's not visible to me at all. And this is it. The sad reality is, I mean, for Brutalist people like myself, is that one day all this is going to be a thing of the past, Brutalism. Now that bridge there, that is Brutalist. That's definitely a Brutalist bridge. Ah, there we go. We find one thing. Okay, it's not going to follow me on this explore. I find, I find a, a walkway. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely of a 60s period. 